Australia and ASEAN have wrapped up a three-day summit marking 50 years of partnership. The leaders ended the final day with a call for restraint in the South China Sea and a lasting ceasefire in the Gaza Strip. Many ASEAN members, including Indonesia, Malaysia and the Philippines, have overlapping claims with China over parts of the South China Sea. The joint statement called for a rules-based order in the Indo-Pacific, urging nations to avoid any unilateral actions that could endanger peace. I am very concerned and Australia is concerned about any unsafe and destabilising behaviour uh, in the South China Sea. Uh, it uh, is dangerous and it creates risks of miscalculation, uh, which can then lead to escalation. Uh, so we would call upon a number of nations emphasised in their statements. Uh, the foundation document is UNCLOS, the UN Convention of the Law of the Sea. Uh, that is something that uh, should be the guide for all nations' participation. Our leaders also called for an immediate and durable humanitarian ceasefire in Gaza after days of diplomatic wrangling over the text. Our diplomats had argued over whether to push for total end to hostilities or to call for a temporary ceasefire.